there's no guarantee of what the 49ers will do in the draft because there's no guarantee that any of us will be alive come this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Bill Enright. And Bill, of course, you know, I'm sort of uh, poking fun a little bit about what Coach Kyle Shanahan had to say about Jimmy Garoppolo's future in San Francisco. But the immediate future here for the 49ers is the NFL draft, the third pick, the one that that most people are, are watching. And there's been so much discussion including recently when they said they, they could be comfortable with five QBs. I still can't believe they don't know who they're picking <laughs> at this point in time. But given all that, and given you know the Jimmy Garoppolo situation, and that it, it's more of a ready-made team than, than some of the other squads that are picking near the top of the draft, will whoever's picked third face more pressure than anyone else in, in this upcoming NFL draft? You know, I, I think this pick is getting a lot of attention, especially from the media, because the, there was a big trade involved, right? The 49ers gave up uh, two first and, and a third by going from, from 12 to, to three in that swap with, with the Miami Dolphins. And whenever there's a major move like that, it, it does draw a lot of fan attention. It draws a lot of media attention because it's now something to talk about. And internally, once the 49ers make this pick, there will be a lot of pressure from within the organization on this player. But in terms of the entire NFL draft and all, all the players involved and, and outside pressure um, from either fans, media, national attention, I think it's either going to be Trevor Lawrence. He's the number one pick. He's expected to be the best quarterback of this draft or the number two pick. And that's likely going to be Zach Wilson, especially with given the fact that it's almost a shoe in that Zach Wilson is this number two prospect for the New York Jets. I don't have him as my number two quarterback on, on, on the draft board. I think there's a lot of other talented quarterbacks in this draft. So in a couple of years from now, we might be seeing the Mitch Trubisky, Patrick Mahomes uh, situation play out where Zach Wilson goes number two, but really the other quarterback that was a lot better goes after him. Yeah, I mean, those are interesting points. My stock line on that is that the Jets have been searching for a quarterback since man landed on the moon, right? So everybody that's drafted there in New York in that market is going to have some pressure. For sure. Trevor Lawrence, the, the pressure on him is to be great because I think anything less than, than great will be some sort of disappointment. But in, in San Francisco, really the, the pressure should be on Kyle Shanahan, should be on the, the people making decisions because they are the ones that, that moved up. But we know the player tends to be the focus and quarterbacks tend to be the focus. So immediately, whether it's Trey Lance or, or Mac Jones, who people believe is a little bit maybe more ready to go right away, that they are going to have a microscope on them. And, and again, San Francisco is a team that, that does have a contention window that's probably open more quickly. So I, I don't know if it will be the most pressure. I think that, that depends on how people actually play. But, but I, I definitely think it, it's the, the most watched pick on draft night, and that's not even close. 